Good morning everyone, uh, welcome back to our channel, the Asian Mechanic Guy And for today, uh, we got this 2012 uh, Chevy Cruze And as you can hear, the radiator fan is always on, on high speed Let's go check the, the code So there's a check engine light on right there just want to see and actually there's something on let me you know let me close the hood here we can see a, uh, something written is in there written there like uh, too high temp I think hold on let me just Let's go back over here. As you can see in here, AC says AC off due to high engine temp. <laughs> so it says the engine temperature is too high. So let's just wait for the code and let's see what's in here. There we go. Okay, we got. Okay, it says here. We do have radiator coolant temperature. What's this? Not. What's that? What code is that? P0086.00. And also ACT, sensor performance circuit intermittent. So, two sensor RCT and then ACT. So, we gotta take a look at that. You know what? Let's go check. Hold on. Uh huh. You know, let's go to the data stream right away. I want to see some data. Uh huh. Let's just go engine. Oh, I should put. Anyway, it's okay. Let's go. Um, engine co I thought ACT is, is there also anything that is related to the temperature hold on Let's look at this <laughs> that's my ACT right there engine coolant temperature sensor I got 82 degrees Celsius my radiator coolant temperature sensor holy cow 11 degrees celsius <laughs> you know what let's just go hold on let's combine it uh, combine look at that the blue one it's almost around 80 well I mean almost 90 degrees Celsius and the radiator coolant temperature is 12 degrees Celsius so hmm, temperature is too high it says so I'm not really sure engine coolant ACT so let's go find this ACT maybe I'll point a uh, uh, temperature gun and let's see if it's really an 82 degrees Celsius and also the radiator coolant temperature let's see if it's really 12 degrees Celsius I had this uh, uh, infrared uh, temperature gun so let's do that right, guys so uh, before we check the uh, actual uh, temperature of the sensor I just want to know where's the location and we are here on my pro demand so engine coolant temperature sensor so it seems like there were like two two sensor so that one the first one uh, engine coolant temperature sensor 2 so sensor 2 that was number 5 so this is the picture so number 5 
so as you can see in here so that's number five the location is on the side of the radiator so that's the radiator as you can see in here so on the side right there that's number five engine coolant temperature sensor or radiator coolant temperature sensor 2 okay so again this is for 2012 I can see it oh boy alright and then let's go on sensor the second sensor so the engine coolant temperature sensor 1 so it should be what's that what number is that number 3 so number 3 over here so on the rear of the engine so see this number 3 in here right there so it seems like over here somewhere here so that's the engine so if you take a look in here at the back right there so number three so we're gonna point the gun the infrared gun let's see the actual temperature and we will compare it to my uh, top down my data stream so again it has two it has two left or to its left front of the engine and then also hmm, engine coolant left rear engine, engine coolant temperature one that's not it it, it has only like two Number five, let's see, hold on. There's one more in here. Number. Oh, right there. There's one more over here. Oh, so there were like three actually. So over here. So close to this. I think this is, I'm not sure if that's your oil filter. Wow. So we got what's this engine coolant temperature sensor one b34a the other one engine coolant temperature sensor one hmm. both of them are sensor one and then there's one more over here on the engine coolant temperature sensor two on the radiator and two on the engine so we're gonna take a look at onto that okay let's go let's go compare it using my infrared thermogun alright so there is my flare TG165X so my infrared look at this <laughs> so right now our AC I think this is ACT1 is 84 degrees Celsius the blue one and then the red one is 10 the sir radiator coolant temperature sensor but it says it has two the one is in here so let's point over here the reading is 29 It's reading 48, 47, but <laughs> over here it's reading 84, see that, so there's a big difference and also the radiator coolant temperature sensor right here
So the radiator coolant temperature is reading around 10 to 12, 10, 13. And we got here 11. So the radiator coolant temperature sensor is okay. It has, <coughs> excuse me, almost same uh, temp compared to that ACT. And also there's one more. Over here it says, uh, I don't know what is that. Maybe it, only, it has only one, only this this one right here. You know what? What if we'll unplug it? Let's unplug this. Let's unplug it. One unplug it. Okay, it's unplugged. Let's see. <laughs> it's negative 40. So that's the right, you know. That's the right sensor. When we unplug it, it's become negative 40. We will plug it and let's see. Okay. Now it become 84. 84 degrees Celsius but if we use my infrared thermo it only reads 40 so it's reading so we had a bad <laughs> we had a bad uh, ACT engine coolant temperature sensor that's how we you know how we diagnose a an issue uh, of a bad uh, ACT radiator coolant temperature is 11 which is again when you use our infrared All right, we'll just shut down, shut off the car, and then we're just gonna buy a sensor. All right, oh, the fan's still, still on because it's it reads 80 degrees Celsius, which is <laughs> that's wrong. The actual temp is around 40. And I can't, I can't even touch it. Look at, an 80 degrees Celsius is you can you can't even touch it. I can even touch it. Look at. So we had a bad, you know, bad uh, sensor. About the wiring, as you can see a while ago, I removed this one, and it gave us this uh, bias voltage, which is the negative 40. So meaning, the connection is good this one so we don't have problem with the wire the connection our problem is the sensor so we'll replace that sensor right so let's remove that sensor so there's uh if you could see it nope there's a clip right here we need to remove it this one Now we can just pull this thing. Oh, oh, be careful. This is gonna be hot. Hold on. So that's the sensor right here. <laughs> Alright. Let's go by this. Hmm. Alright, so we got the new aftermarket sensor PW. BWD Let's compare it Alright, same, okay, let's put it on Alright, it's on, right there 
Let's plug it. Okay. Let's, let's start the car and let's see if there's some changes on the temp and we're expecting the car radiator fan won't turn on right away because a while ago was after we just start the car radiator fan turns on so hopefully oh yeah <laughs> I guess it's already fixed I couldn't hear the radiator fan turning on already fixed okay. I'm pretty sure that's already fixed let me close the hood because a while ago AC off due to high M2 <laughs> still there but I'm still gonna you know reset the code so the code is still there there's P0116 and P0118 I just wanna see data stream automatic because I want to read data stream because I want to know the actual oh, where's that ACT okay and then where's the trajectory coolant temperature sensor alright so those two as you can see, <laughs> 45 degrees Celsius. That ECT a while ago it's around 88. And right now, radiator coolant temperature sensor is 39. Whoa, whoa. a while ago it's 10. But anyway, let's go check. Hmm, almost the same now. let's you know what let's put on grab look at that so the ACT is 47 and then your rad co radiator coolant temperature is 43 almost the same though you know what I'm just gonna you know check it using my infrared thermogun Right, let's check this first so that's your ACT and what's the reading oh, hold on <laughs> it's around 49 <laughs> 49 hold on Uh, close to the sensor. Hmm. Hold on. That's the wire. Right there. So there's a sensor right there. So it's on 34.3 from the outside. Uh, and again here, that's 40. So that's the sensor, so it will be submerged to that coolant housing, I guess, to the around 38, 39. So around that 38, 39, and we got woo, 53. It's a little bit high though, but at least closer than a while ago. You know what? Let's just 
give it for okay, for 45 actually 46 okay 46.4 outside at the uh, Poland housing so 43, 44, 45 very close 54 very close and then radiator it's over here that's Should be the the forty six forty seven so we are two hundred fifty one for this so somewhere between forty to fifty Radiator coolant temperature is 58, so they're pretty close though. Because again, that sensor is submerged to the coolant inside those, you know. It's pretty close. Over here we got 41, 44, you know what? This maximum we could get. Because that's the sensor right there. will be submerged somewhere over here so around 47 48 45 right. okay. it's not really perfect though like exactly because we are just you know uh, measuring the outside temp of this you know coolant so radiator coolant temperature goes to 60 <laughs> wow! Just a while ago, remember the the fan is always on, so it always you know make the radiator radiator cool. But right now, the radiator fan is still off, so the temp is really high. See that you have around 57. The sensor somewhere there. It really <coughs> that's the host of the coolant. Fifty seven. Pretty close. I guess it's already fixed. I just wanna wait until it reaches eighty eight or eighty and then radiator fun will kick on but I think we, we don't need to wait it anymore right now runs good I guess that's it You're almost same <laughs> same reading now 60 all right so there you go guys if you had any question on this uh, video uh, please comment down below and consider like and subscribe my channel too that's all for today and see you in my next video bye bye